along with the Grandmaster Quiz Night. I'm going to do a new quiz. There's four questions, 20 rounds. So um, if you want to play along at home, <laughs> you can get a pen and a piece of paper and you can correct each other's at the end of each round. So the first round is on Amsterdam and Dunk on Dan Grote is. So if you've any problems with them, um, don't give out to me. Get on to him. So what is the river that separates North and South Amsterdam? <coughs> what is the river that separates North and South Amsterdam? Question two. What day was Queen's Day celebrated on? Um, what day was Queen's Day celebrated on? Question three. Amsterdam is uh, separated into how many districts? So in this, the, the whole of Amsterdam, how many different districts is there? And the fourth one in the first round is how many coffee shops are left in Amsterdam? So there's, we couldn't find an exact answer, so we have two answers, so either one will get you a point. So first one, what river separates North and South Amsterdam? Second, what day was Queen's Day uh, celebrated on? Third, Amsterdam is separated into how many districts? And question four, how many coffee shops are in Amsterdam? Back in a sec, Cousin. Right, so the answers to the first round. What river separates north and south of Amsterdam? It's the I, I-J. Um, what day was Queen's Day celebrated on? King's Day is the 27th, but Queen's Day was on the 29th of April. So I don't know if anyone got that. Um, Amsterdam is separated into seven districts. And at the moment, there's either 166 or 167 coffee shops in Amsterdam. So who got what and what got where? Next round. So next round is fighting. I did, it's not it's boxing and UFC, so it's what it's called, the round fighting. So um, question one, who did Ali fight in the Rumble in the Jungle? Who did Muhammad Ali fight in the famous Rumble in the Jungle? Um, question two. The new fighting organization called BKFC. What does BKFC stand for? I think McGregor has bought shares in it. So there's a new fighting organization called BKFC. What does BKFC stand for? Uh, question three. Who did McGregor be to win his lightweight belt? Who did McGregor be to win his lightweight UFC title? Um, and question four, at what age did Mike Tyson become the heavyweight champion? And while he's around today, we're going to eat some Weedy Wonders edibles. Right, are there the answers? Well, I have a look at the video. Uh -huh. Okay, so the answers are Muhammad Ali fought Joe, uh, bleh, George Foreman in the Rumble in the Jungle. And the new fighting event called BKFC is Bare Knuckles Fighting Championship. And McGregor but beat uh, Alvarez to get his lightweight belt. It was the Aldo for the featherweight, if anyone put that in. And now Mike Tyson was 20 when he won his heavyweight champion or when he won his heavyweight belt. Next one is a picture round. So Ooh, let me uh, drop you off. Let me drop you off the screen again. Yeah, so this is the picture round. I'm going to put up four different pictures on the screen. And you have to tell me what the brand or what the logo is. So I'm going to put up four different logos that don't have the text. And you have to tell me what the four logos are. There's number one. Number two. Number three. 
And number four. So what were the four logos? Ooh, that last one got me a bit. Right. I go through them all now. The first one was Skype. The next one was BP. The next one was Pizza Hut. Huh? And Gas Man, you're going to hate it, but the next one was Heinz. What? Sorry about that. Right, round four. Slogans. I know this is Jordan's downfall last time. So I've got four slogans for you. I'm going to read out there. the slogan. You've got to tell me the brand. So quality never goes out of style. Quality never goes out of style. Second question. Live in, look, live in your world, play in ours. So live in your world, play in ours. Question two. Question three, life summed up. Life summed up. Question four, belong anywhere. Belong anywhere. So the first slogan, quality never goes out of style. Second one, live in your world, play in ours. Third one, life summed up. And fourth one, belong anywhere. Right. And now the answers for what was that round? One, two, three, four. Round four. Um, quality never goes out of style. That was Levi's. Um, live, live in your world. Play in ours. That's PlayStation, obviously. Uh, life summed up. I'd be very shocked if nobody got that. Twenty-one by twenty. Um, belong anywhere is Airbnb. So, right now, this next round, let me really this next round I've done for myself, so I went niche like the rest of them. So, this is all Marvel. So, if you don't know Marvel, you're fucked. But what metal is uh, on well, what is the metal that Wolverine has on his claws and his whole skeleton? So what is the metal that Wolverine's skeleton is is wrapped in? I'll give you a clue. It's not a real metal. Question two. What is Hawkeye's name? So what is Hawkeye's real name? Not the actor, the character. Question three. For what part of New York is Peter Parker from? And question four. I might be going to be first. Who is Peter Quill's father? So question one, what is the metal that Wolverine's skeleton is in, encased in? Question two, what is Hawkeye's real name? Question three, what part of New York is Peter Parker from? And question four, who is Peter Quill's father? So the answer is for round five, six, five. Um, the Marvel round. What metal is does Wolverine have encased on his bones? It's alimant, alimentium or alimentium. I think, I'm not sure if Craig spelled it right, but alimant, alimentium. Um, not un unantanium. Uh, Hawkeye's real name is Clint Barton. Um, Peter Parker's from Queens. And Peter Quill's father is Ego, the living planet. So let's see how he's did. Mm. Right, I'll do one more question around, then I'll do another. Uh, okay, so this is to make sure you've all been watching the podcast. This is the high cunt round. So, what Amsterdam venue would you find the fairy house's puff puff paint? So, what, um, what, what venue is the puff puff paint, the fairy house puff puff paint hosted in every Wednesday? Question two. What coffee shop does Dunk on Dank work in? What coffee shop does Dunk on Dank work in? Question three. 
What is the Kush puppy's real name? What is the Kush puppy's real name? And question four. Me, the fairy, and Duncan Dank, the Thai cunts, have done a podcast. What was the title or what was the name of the podcast the three of us do together? Not the normal podcast. We've only done one of them. But what is the name of the podcast the Thai cunts do together? So, starting again, what venue hosts Fairy House Puff of Paint every Wednesday? Question two, what coffee shop does Dunk on Dank work in? Question three, what is the Kush Puppy's real name? And question four, what is the High Cunts podcast called? So, like that round? Easy one for you, Gazzy. Right. So, here's the answers. This was the high cunt round. So, first off, the fairy's question. Uh, what venue would you find the fairy house puff puff paint every Wednesday? Oh, wrong one. I wanted to put up this one. Can you see it on there? No. Cafe Havler. Question two. Which coffee shop does Dunk on Dank work in? Answer, the original damp rink. Question three. What is the Kush puppy's real name? Obviously, it's Odin. Odin Glenson is the second name. Um, and question four. What is the High Cunts podcast called? Chachi Get Bait. It was one, two, three, four, five, six rounds. So now we'll go on to the seventh round. We're going to do more pictures. The next ones are cartoon famous. Well, not so slightly not famous cartoon characters. Um, and I'm going to give you, put the four of them up and you have to tell me what they're called. So here's the first one. Here's the second one. I'm, this one, I want his full name, his first and second name. The rest of them, this one, because I know his first name is more common, so I want the full name on this one. And the third one. And the fourth one. So I'll go to them again. First, second, third. Right. So the answers for that round was Boo Boo Bear, Tommy Pickles, Tweak, and Foghorn Leghorn. Let's see how everyone done. Right, round A. Geography. What is the capital of Estonia? As I said, I'm going niche because they're such small categories. What is the capital of Estonia? Question two. What is the main river that flows through Paris? Question three. What country has the longest coastline? And question four, what country does the Easter Islands belong to? So question one, what's the capital of Estonia? Question two, the main river to Paris is what? Question three, what is the longest coast or what country has the longest coastline? And question four, what country does the Easter Islands belong to? Okay. You now, for the answers for geography, the capital of Estonia is Tallinn. The main river that goes through Paris is the Seine or the Seine, S E I N E. And the country with the longest coastline is Canada. And the Easter Islands belong to Chile. So, yeah, let's check on the scores. Right, let me go to the next round. Right. Next round, number nine. Lead singers is the name of this round. 
So, question one Who is the lead singer of the Arctic Monkeys? Question two Ozzy Osbourne was the lead singer of which band? Question three. Um, which band did Axl Rose fill in as lead singer for in 2006? So which was a big band? Which band did Axl Rose fill in, I think, for the last eight gigs of a tour because the lead singer was sick? So which band did Axl Rose fill in as lead singer for in 2006? And question four. What is Bono's real name? I'll let you away with the first name. You don't need the full name, but if you know it, I'm not giving you bonus points, but show off if you know it. So, yeah. Who was the lead singer of the Arctic Monkeys? Um, Ozzy Osbourne was the lead singer of which band? Question three. Which band did Axel Rose fill in as lead singer for in 2016? And question four. What is Bono's real name? Let's check on the scores. So the answers to number nine is uh, who was the lead singer of the Arctic Monkeys? It's Alex Turner. Ozzy Osbourne was the lead singer of Black Sabbath. Um, Axel Rose to, uh, uh, filled in as the lead singer of ACDC for the end of their tour in 2016. And Bono's real name is Paul David. So let's check on. Right, now. right. Uh, round 10, the halfway mark. mark. Yeah. This is groups. So I'm going to give you a, a list of a few people, and you have to tell me the name of the group or the team or whatever they're in. So the first one is Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and X Pac. So what group are they in together? Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and X Pac. The next one is Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist. The next one, question three, is Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo. And question four, geez, these are hard to pronounce. Agneta, Bjorn, Benny, and An Anifred. Agneta, Bjorn, Benny, and Annie Fred. Weird names. But I'll go to them again. Shawn Michaels, Triple H, X Pac, uh, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, and Leonardo. And the fourth one was Ag Agneta, Agneta, Bjorn, Benny, and Annie Fred. So let's check on how everyone did. All right, let me read out the answer and I'll come back to you in a sec. So, the groups. The first one, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and X Pac was Degeneration X from WWF. Um, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist make up the, the Defenders. Um, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo was obviously the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And Agneta, Bjorn, Benny, and Annie Fred is ABBA. So let's check in on the scores. Hold on. Right, so we're at the halfway mark. I'm going to break down the scores as we stand. Jordan in the lead, no surprise there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. In second place is SL, our last champion, the only person to beat Jordan. So he has 22. Gassi has... 20 craig has 18 cherry has 17 jamie has nine and bridger has six so yeah it's still halfway mark a lot to play for so let's go straight i'm going to bring us into a picture round again so these are famous movies without the text on them so you have to from the picture tell me so this is round 11 i think so, what's the first movie? Uh, 
Here's the second movie. Uh, here's the third movie. And here's the fourth movie. So I'll go through them again. First. Second. Third. And fourth. So. At the end of round, or not the end of it, it's round 11. Let's go. Right. Right. Now, uh, round 11, the answers. First one was Django Unchained. What a movie. Next was The Goonies, obviously. If you haven't seen it, shame on you. The next one. I thought it was decent enough. It got a bit of flack, but um, American Sniper. There's an hilarious scene where he's holding the baby. It's meant uh, he's meant to be holding the baby, and it's clearly just a doll. And he obviously never ended it out, but that's hilarious. Um, the yeah, American Sniper, and this is The Hills Are Alive. No, yeah, the sound of music. Sorry, The Hills Are Alive with the sound of music. Um, yeah. So let's see how everyone did. Back to the other people. Right, that was round, fuck, I don't even know, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is 12, I think. Right, these are car brands. I'm going to tell you a few different model makes. And you have to, No, whatever. You, I'm going to tell you the makes, and you have to tell me the brand that is that they're made by. So uh, Panda, Fiesta, and Focus. So what car brand is that? Panda Fiesta Focus. The next one is TT R8 and A4. TT R8 A4. The next one is Megan, Cleo, and Kangu. Question three was Megan, Cleo, and Kangu. And question four is Galant, Lancer, and Mirage. So question one was Panda Fiesta and Focus. Question two was TT, R8, and A4. Question three is McGann, Cleo, Kangu. And question four was Galant, Lancer, and Mirage. So let's see how everyone did. Right. Well, question round 12, I think it was. Uh, car brands. Um, Panda, Fiesta, and the Focus are all by Ford. A TT, an R8, and an A4 are all Audis. A Megan, a Clio, and a Kangoo are all Reynolds. A Galant, a Lancer, and a Mirage are all Mitsubishis. Let's check on the points. Right, I'll do one more question round, and then I'll do another picture round. So this is the Olympics. What country won the most gold medals in the Olympics this year? And I'll give a bonus point if you can tell me how many total medals they won. Um, question two. How many gold medals has Michael Phelps won? Question three. Usain Bolt ran the record breaking 100 meters in nine minutes and how many seconds? So, when he broke the world record for the fastest 100 meters, how many seconds did he run? Or nine minutes and how many seconds? And question four what city is hosting the 2028 Olympics? So, what country won the most Olympics this in the twenty this year in twenty twenty four? And bonus point if you can tell me the exact number. Um, how many gold medals has Michael Phelps won? Usain Bolt broke the world record hundred meters in nine minutes and how many seconds? And uh, which city hosts the next Olympics in twenty twenty eight? Yeah, let's check in. Here's the answers, man. Uh, Right, so 
the answers to the Olympics. Uh, what country won the most medals? I, when I checked it out today, it, China and America both won 40 gold medals each. But the country with the most overall medals was America. They won 126 medals. So if you said 126 gold or 126 overall, bonus point. Um, how many gold medals does Michael Phelps has? He has 23. Uh, Usain Bolt ran the 100 meters in 9 minutes and 58 seconds. And the next city to host the Olympics is LA. So let's check the scores. This is his best thinking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. So we have seven rounds left. So I'm going to do another pick the round. And um, this one, I think, is, yeah, TV shows. So yeah, just tell me what TV show they are. That's the first one. Shout out Weedy Wonders. And um, next TV show, this is old school. So these kids might get it. <laughs> use older people might get it either. I think I had one season. Next one. Seeing this, but I hear a lot of people talking about it. And the last one. I've never seen this, but everybody used to talk about it. So, the first one was this. And this. This and this, right? Let's see how everyone done. Right, let's go back to the other world. Now, the answers for this the first one was Wednesday, next one was the tick. The next one was the bear. And the next one was lost. So let's check out the points. Back to questions. Stay in a second. Um, this one's called Famous Families. So I'm just going to give you a clue when you tell me who the person is. Mary Kate and Ashley's Marvelous Little Sister. Who is Mary Kate and Ashley's marvelous little sister? This is less of a kind of riddle, just a question. Who is John Voigt's daughter? John Voigt. Uh, question three. What is Luke, Liam, and Chris's surname? So three brothers, Luke, Liam, and Chris. What is their surname? And question four, who is Emilio Estevez's famous father? Fucking tongue twister. So Mary Kate and Ashley's marvelous little sister, John Voigt's daughter. What is Luke, Liam and Chris's surname? And Emilio Estevez's Famous father. Let's check in on everybody. <coughs> Answers. So, the famous family. Mary Kate and Ashley's marvelous little sister is Elizabeth Olsen, also known as the Scarlet Witch in the Avengers movies. John Voigt's daughter is Angelina Jolie. Luke, Liam, and Chris are the Hemsworth brothers. And Emilio Estevez's famous father is Martin Sheen, and his famous brother is Charlie Sheen. Um, yeah, so let's check who got what. Let's, let's so, finish this and get, get the win. Right, I think we've only five left, so I'm going to do count up the scores, see where we stand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jordan's on 41. SL's on 34. 
Craig's on 31. Gas is on 29. Cherry's on 26. And it goes down and down from there. But yeah, so what did I say? 41. And then behind them is SL with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 24. So you're seven points behind SL. We've got five rounds to go, so that's a possible 20 points. So all to play for. Right, next round is... Famous locals. So this is places in TV shows or stuff where they go. So what is the pub from How I Met Your Mother called? So the pub they're always drinking in in How I Met Your Mother. Question two. What is Peter Griffin's local pub called? This next one should be a fucking giveaway, but I was busy in work and I just had to come up with an answer. So what is the coffee shop from Friends called? And I'm going to give you time because everyone knows that one. And lastly, I don't watch the show, but I did Google it. So what is the bar from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia called? So the pub from How I Met Your Mother, the pub Peter Griffin drinks in, the coffee shop from Friends, and... The bar from it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Let's see what everyone put in. Let's go through the answers. So, um, oh, I'm on the wrong page. I'm an idiot. I already got on to the next set of answers. So, famous locals. The pub from How I Met Your Mother is McLaren's. Uh, Peter Griffin drinks in the Drunken Clam. The cafe from coffee shop from friends is off uh, obviously Central Perk. And the bar from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is Paddy's. This is round 17. Let's get rid of Gassy. TV shows. So again, I, not too niche, but I went niche enough. Game of Thrones. What is the family of Jamie, Cersei, and Tyron? What what is the family name of Jamie? Cersei and Tyron in Game of Thrones. Cherry, this one's for you. What US state is The Wire set? In what US state is the TV show The Wire set? Question three. What is the hospital from Scrubs called? What is the name of the hospital from Scrubs? Question four. <coughs> what is the name of the community college in the show? <coughs> community. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> what is the name of the college in the show? Community. So Game of Thrones. What is the family name of Jamie? Cersei and Tyron. Question two, what US state is the wire set? Question three, name the hospital from Scrubs. And question four, name, what's the name of the college in the TV show Community? Right, let's see what everyone put. Let's do some points. TV show, Game of Thrones. Jamie, Cersei, and Tyron, Tyron, Tywin, Lannister was the surname. Uh, the Wire is set in Baltimore. And uh, the hospital from Scrubs is Sacred Heart. Um, and the college from the community is Greendale. Let's see what everyone got. So what have we got? Three left then? The final three. Right. So the last three, we'll do one more picture and then we'll do two last questions. So these are flags. So I'm going to put up four different nations flags. You just got to tell me which flag they are. Number one. Sarah on the joints. 
Number two. Number three. And number four. Number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. Right, let's see what I bump it in. No, it's not on now. Let's go and do the answers. So the first one was Morocco. The next one was Thailand. The next one was Luxembourg. And the next one was South Korea. So let's see how that affects the points. Fucking Luxembourg, man. You fucking Luxembourg. Fucking... <laughs> you know, that was fucking people. I knew it, wasn't, it was too light. Uh, no matter how you know it. So we're down to the last two rounds. Wait, no, I don't even want to know the scores, man. Don't, don't yeah, tell Yeah, I'm going to tell you the end. We all know who won, but second place could be, you know what I mean? No, it could all go wrong, man. We've got, we've got two sports rounds. Yeah. Right, so last two rounds. First round is history. So how well do you know your history? First one is what year did the Chernobyl disaster happen? In what year did the Chernobyl disaster happen? If you haven't seen Chernobyl TV show on HBO, it's fucking epic. Um, how many years ago this year did World War One start? How many years ago? So it's knowledge plus maths equals answer on this one. Um, so yeah, how many years ago this year did World War One start? I couldn't have asked you what year it started, but I said it fucking make a difference. Um, question three, what year did the Berlin Wall fall? We're fucking, what's his name? Hasselhoff up on top singing. Um, so, yeah, what year did Hasselhoff give his epic performance on top of the Berlin Wall? And question four. What was the ship that brought the pilgrims to America in 1620? What was the name of the ship? I should have said name the first time. What was the name of the ship that brought the pilgrims pilgrim to america in 1620 so from the top what year did chernobyl disaster happen how many years ago this year did world war one start uh question three in what year did uh hasselhoff give that epic performance and something else happened that day and um and question four what what was the name of the ship that brought the pilgrims to america in 1620 which is 420 in time year time or something right let's check what everyone said right so let's do the answers for the history round uh what year did chernobyl happen 1986 how many years ago did world war one start so yeah yeah, or, yeah world war one started in uh, 19, uh, 1914 which is 110 years ago uh, what year did the Berlin Wall fall? 1989. And the ship that brought the pilgrims to America in 1620 was known as the Mayflower. Let's see what everybody said. Hey. Into the final round. The push puppies are away for the excitement. You can't hold it in. Right. Final round, kids. And I know some of you won't like it, but it's movies. Right. First question in the last round. What was the first animated film ever released? What was the first animated movie, film, whatever, film ever released? Now, this has a chance... Because the last round, there's a chance to get three points on this next question. Three movies have won 11 Oscars. 
if you name all three, you'll get a point for each one. So there's three movies. So the most most of the Oscars that ever been won is eleven, and three three uh, movies share that eleven Oscars. So you can name all three movies, you get three points. So chance to catch Jordan if he doesn't know them. Um, question three. I'll give you a second because there's three answers. I'll see two more animals. It's all good. Well, question three. You can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth is a quote from what movie? You can't handle the truth. What movie is that a quote from? And the last question of the night. What movie, what movie's main characters are known as Mr. Pink, Mr. White, Mr. Blonde, etc.? So, what was the first animated film ever released? What three movies have won 11 Oscars? You Can't Handle the Truth is the quote from what movie? And what's that one? Oh yeah, what movie characters, uh, from what movie are the main characters known as Mr. Pink, Mr. White, Mr. Blonde? So that's the end of the quiz. Let's see how everyone done. Let me give out the answers. Right. End of the edibles. End of the quiz. Last round of answers. And then we'll see who won. Well, we know who won. The first animated movie ever released was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The three movies that have won 11 Oscars was Ben-Hur, Titanic, and Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Um, you Can't Handle the Truth is a quote from A Few Good Men. And final answer of the night, or final question of the night. What movie's main characters are known as Mr. Pink, Mr. White, Mr. Blonde? That's Reservoir Dogs. Um, so, yeah, let's check on the scores, see how everyone done. All right. The points are in. And it's we have a, a winner, but it's closer than we... You know, they didn't run away with it. So in first place, we have Jordan of 54 points. The champ as usual, the man Jordan. In second place, the only man to ever beat Jordan is SL with 51. In third place, we have Craig on 39. And then in joint fourth place, we have Gassi and Cherry Warrior on 38. Just one point behind Craig. Um, what else have we got then? Jamie had 16, but I gave him one extra because I'm sure he got it somewhere along the way. Dean has 14. Bridget had eight. Hoax had four. And Brian had three. So congratulations, Jordan. Good game. Let's get Gassi back in for some post-match commentary. Oh, what a good match that was there. That was a really close fought match. Yeah, so 54 yeah. 51. There's only three points in it in the end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Craig said he wasn't really playing at one point, and then he comes well, in. Craig bet both years. I know, man. I was trying to catch up, but I missed, missed a lot in those last few Craig's, rounds. If Craig scraped, no, not scraped, he's one above you and Cherry just to get into third place, just to get that bronze. How many was Jordan ahead of us? That's all. Uh, 54 to 51. Oh, just three in it, man. Not not yeah. many at all. He's got a good rival, though. It's going to be good for future events. Yeah. No, definitely. I'm going to keep this. Uh, what's it? Style. This, qu this quiz style. The four questions, 20, 20 categories. Yeah. Because it's good, like, then you can get niche, like, you can go right into fucking, you know what I mean, cars, fighting, fucking 
TV shows, everything. Because if you don't know anything about that shit, you're only missing out on a round. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then you're fucking... Exactly. Yeah, that was Grandmaster Quiz Night. That was a, a edited version of our live stream. So definitely going to do it again. Congrats to Jordan, as always. SL, second place. Craig, third. And then joint fourth, we had Cherry and Gassy. Jamie in fifth. Dean sixth. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for playing, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.